This is um, Lindstrom Antique Mall and it's really big. They were very sweet to say that we could come out today on short notice and come in there and have lots of fun filming all the great vintage collectibles there are and great prices too. Always great prices. Look at that beautiful dish over here. Oh, retro dress. Love that. Look at this though. Isn't that gorgeous? Uh, I don't think I've ever seen such a ruffled top on anything. $49. 42 Tiny little butt face. Wow. Look at that neat lucite, I believe. Yeah, it is. That's a neat one. Trivet. $20. This looks like a fun booth. Yeah. Lots of goodies in here. Lots of glassware over there. Look at this hat down here. It looks like something Queen Elizabeth would wear. Yeah. That's a great one. Yeah. Seven dollars. I think she probably pays it more than that. I wonder what this thing is with the drawers. Yeah. What do you call that? I don't know. That's different. Lots of brass items. Oh, look at that prop, Norm. That's not real, is it? Propellers. Can holders. Oh, no. Twenty-four dollars. How fun. Turn Twenty-four dollars for the pair. Turn that over. The other one. No, no. The other one. That's how they go. Yeah, isn't that cool? That is very fun. Yeah, if you had a nautical theme. Yeah. That's a good price, too. It is, yeah. That's adorable. <laughs> if props can be adorable, that's adorable. I like this, those. Uh, lighthouse door knocker. Uh, oh, neat. $18 for, your door. for a brass door knocker. Lighthouse. Well, that's pretty cool, too. Yeah. Ah, that's really neat. Yeah, that's neat. Norm, oh. Norm wanted me to show you all the, the deck decoys up here. They go all the way down. Yeah, they got... All uh, the way down there. This is a fishing town, like Norm started to say. Yep. Look at that bass pitcher hanging there under the ducks. Under right the here. ducks, yeah. yeah. That's nice. Is that carved? I Oops, think I'm not getting looks it. Looks like it is. Looks like it's carved, yeah. Boy, is that fancy. Alright. 24 only? Oh my, look at these. Isn't this nice? $20 for all three, Norm. That is really cool. I love it. Oh, those are, they're all angelfish. Yeah. But isn't that cool? For 20 bucks, people would think that's really a great price. And look, $15 for these two. And they're different. This is beautiful, these roses. Yeah. But look at these frames. That's really, uh, that's really yeah. elaborate for $15. Man, talk about a vintage look. Very, very sweet. We got some real deals here. We have bought so many nice things at this store for, oh, I think 20, how many, 20 some years or more? Hey, here's one of those cigarette lighters, Peggy, like we got. Oh, yeah, we thrifted. I found one of these at the Goodwill. $50 for 25 Yeah, it's a tabletop. Um, what was that brand again? No, Roz, R-O-S, Roz. Roz? Not Ron's bro, no. No, I don't know why. <clears throat> I can't think of it. Oh, Ronson. Yeah, see? Ronson. I was close. Ronson. Yeah. I know. Ronson I thought it started with an R. Yeah, but anyways, yeah. We, we found one at the Goodwill for $6. Sterling silver yeah, tabletop. Those honey knives here. I think we got a deal. Yeah, yeah I don't typically film, film yeah. guy stuff. Yeah. Lots of lures here, of course. 
And they're always fun. Guys like looking at that. Oh, this is nice. Nice little stained glass window piece for 15. There's a little girl right there. <laughs> She's really tiny. Really tiny. Price is probably on the back or the bottom, but oh, there is one of those skater ornaments that I yeah. collect. Oh my goodness, they're getting expensive. <gasps> I had no idea. <laughs> oh my, we we've got a ton of them. A nice collection of these adorable skaters. <clears throat> Excuse me, I am a little, little froggy in my voice this morning. Isn't this a nice set? I bet that's um five of them all set but I don't see a price it's it's on the back of that one Norm this f left right the right one the right one right you talking about this no I'm talking about the Sherbers the price is on that one the price okay I'm sorry <laughs> five for ten dollars that is so cheap and I bet they are uh, uranium, uranium glass. glass uranium glass yeah I wouldn't doubt it that's pretty cheap if that's what it is. Look at this is a really, really old milk glass um, jar for your bedroom or bathroom vanity. I assume it's a vanity jar. That's pretty reasonable probably. Cameo. Oh, I didn't realize it was a cameo. Cameo on top. Hope you can make that out. Big cameo. That's pretty nice. Isn't this nice? That's the eye winker pattern. So this could be LG right. Mm -hmm. But isn't that nice? That's beautiful. The top on it. Yeah. Look at those nice little balls all the way around. It's so pretty. That's a fancy one. I don't think I've ever seen this one before. These are really I've good, seen a they? lot of eye winker pattern things, but not this. Oh my gosh, isn't this cute? Somebody probably painted it. It's, it says adjustable plant stand, $38. I think they oh, they, oh, they some of them swing out? They might swing oh, out. Oh yeah, the legs. Oh, for cute. Oh, isn't that nice? Mm -hmm. I like that. That's adorable. Be fun to have outside, but it gets kind of weathered. Your front entrance, if your front entrance is protected, no. that is one gorgeous face down there. Let me zoom in. Oh, Norm's going to pick it up oh, for us. Wow. This is uh, $17. No kidding. Camera picture. Oh, that, that is. is really inexpensive. It kind of needs to be lit up well, though. Yeah. It is pretty dark. It'd be best in a it'd be best in a window, wouldn't it? Yeah, look at that. Looks like that. it's full of root beer. I wonder who made that. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? That is really fancy. Look at the whole bottom and a couple pairs, I assume. Yeah, that's pretty neat. I love several pairs. Mm-hmm. Several pairs. Several. I know, that sounds many, 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 many. <laughs> many pairs. That's funny. Doesn't really say who that made it though. No. We it's really look, heavy. Look into that. The way you fill that up, it would be a uh, short to pick it up. Yeah. That's a vinyl coated. Um, I suppose this is all considered like a wicker straw straw purse but it's coated the handles coated in vinyl yeah. it's pretty cute how much 14 well it's adorable for a little girl I can see a little girl mm -hmm. having that oh well look at the little gloves too the sitting by the little gloves so cute oops hot tap buddy this is a Swedish town so they have a lot of Lindstrom, Minnesota. Yeah, they're... It's a sister city to uh, one in Sweden. Yep. So they do have very, very Swedish uh, celebrations here, certain times of the year. Norm brought his 
Swedish relatives up here in the year 2009. Yeah. July. Yeah. Early, early, late June. It was either late June or early July. Look at this. Isn't this adorable? $22 only? Oh, man. I can't believe how reasonable that is. There are so many gals I've noticed on Instagram that collect these absolutely gorgeous um, tin houses and I've never seen a big barn like that. I can picture many of the people that I follow on Instagram that would just go crazy for that. I don't know what's inside. It looks like green fencing or something. Or? Uh, looks like it might be uh, I don't know what that is inside. Yeah, I can't make it out. Isn't that cute with those doors? Oh, just mm -hmm. painted on, but. Yeah, tin toy. Really neat. Really nice, yeah. No people, animals, or equipment. Original box on lower shelf. Isn't that neat? Mm hmm. Since it's so close to the 4th of July and just after Memorial Day, I had to show you a beautiful hand rot. I never heard that used, that term, hand rot. Well, yeah, I don't know. Huh, isn't that pretty gold thread? Yeah, a lot of work making that. Yeah, that's a beautiful picture. Look at that sky blue background. Mm hmm Very nice. Great, great uh, decor item. Or if you have a patriotic theme going, it's mm -hmm. gorgeous. Look at the size of that thermos. Is that stainless steel, Norm? $16. That's really in beautiful condition. Oh, it sure is. Isn't that nice? Do you think that's stainless? It is. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. Yep. Gorgeous. Great price. Yeah. I was thinking it would be fun for us it's to Aladdin, have... Aladdin, vintage Aladdin thermos bottle. How much is that rolling pin? Vintage Aladdin. Nine dollars for a rolling pin. Boy, that's reasonable. Can I see it? No. <laughs> My mother always used to use that that sock. I don't know if they call it that. With pin a cover. cover? Um, rolling pin. Rolling pin with, with a, cover. My mother used to call it a sock, probably. <laughs> I don't know. But I remember her using that. She made the best pies. That is really a nice... I wonder if that's been repainted, the handles. Oh, it looks pretty nice. Isn't shape. that neat, though? Right I like shape. it. I really like that. You wash this in the washing machine? Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I wash it by hand, but wow. people probably didn't do that very often. No. Kept the flour on it, you know. You could stick it in the fridge. Keep uh, it cold in the fridge, but I'm not a pie maker. Hard to get back in, huh? Uh, the person that did it put it in it was magic. Well, you can leave it on the table. You know what? I found this same, I just realized, what the same identical, I don't know. Wooden masher? I'm mashing something. A wooden masher. Yeah. I think that's before my time. <laughs> that must be really old. I don't remember anybody using that. I honestly don't remember my mom using that. But no. Anyways, I found the same identical, adorable heart. Little, um, I'll, I'll call it a doily. I, I think I, I think I thrifted it. I can't remember, but I washed it and no ink got on it. One of our ink pens on really? the kitchen table. Remember, mm -hmm. I got ink on it from a, a, a pen leaked. Yeah. I was so mad. It was just before Valentine's Day and I was going to show this. Mm -hmm. And and that's what happened. So no. I didn't show it. No price on it though. Really? Yeah. It's, oh, you're right. Anyways, that was frustrating. It's a nice casserole. Gorgeous. So that's my haul. 
very very nice price I bet that's a that's a pattern I like I would I would enjoy that pattern more than some of the other ones I think there's a real common one I think mm -hmm. out there that you you've talked about your mom having but I don't even recall seeing this pattern oh that's nice that's pretty but I don't bake and things like that just my Pyrex there's a what looks like could be Scandinavian, I assume. It oh, yeah, says it says Swedish, yeah. Round one, thirty dollars. I don't see a size, but tablecloth, dancers and flowers. That uh, dahlias, they the horse they have. Uh, oh, yeah. The, yeah. Let me read that. D A L. I don't know if that's a D or Horses, uh, Dalla. D A L A. -A. Yeah. A, -A. a Dalla horse. I've never paid attention to the name of those horses that are so popular. Um, painted, wooden painted horses that yeah. are so well known with the Scandinavians. Yes. Dalla horse. Maybe I'll remember it now. That's what a Dalla horse is. They're all painted like that. And nice bright carved out of wood usually. Nice bright colors, yeah. Very fun. Here. Very fun horse. Great big doll house. What does that say? Thirty four dollars. I yeah. bet the front is adorable. Yeah, look at that. Side. I was trying to show the side. Fireplace all the way up the side. See, it's facing the window, their picture window, so. Pretty cute. Oh, that's cute. Uh, cross stitch. Or, uh, yeah, cross stitch, $30. Oh, that's pretty cute. <laughs> Very funny. That's uh, kind of Norm's motto. There's a large supper up here, and boy, look at the frame on it. Yes, that is really something. Up here. Oh, we're in the mirror. This is really gorgeous. This is a beautiful picture of the Lord's Supper and the framework on it is really elaborate. It's getting reflection from the uh, picture window out here, but Last Supper. I can find the, there we go. I have a set like this, Little Japan, I assume. Kitty set, only that mine's quite large in green. Um, no fancy flowers on it, but I don't show blue in my Nice horse. A really nice swan picture here. Fifty dollars. Wow. I can't see the uh, information inside it, but got a lot of jadeite in this cabinet. There's a rooster. Don't tell Peggy there's a rooster here for ten bucks, otherwise she's gonna want it. Mum's a word. A lot of jadeite in here. Peggy's looking them hard. I was gonna show you this bell up here, Peg. Look at this. Huge collar. What would that be for? A dinosaur, I think. Uh, That's pretty big for a cow. It's a Swiss, Swiss brass cowbell. Oh. Well, $160. That must be a big cow to wear that. You'd hear him coming a mile away, too. Keep you up at night. 1977. United Federal Savings and Loan. Look at that peacock. I really like those uh, embossed. And an 
arms I was like those. Calendars, because I used to work in the printing engraving and embossing trade, so I appreciate the work that goes into making the die for that. Oh, that is really something. There's one over here. They all seem to come with calendars. This is January 76. And the one over here is January 77. I like that peacock. That's cool. A lot of chalkware stuff. Wonder what she's looking at. I guess it's Royal Hager. Beautiful. Did you see the price on it? 24. 24? Pretty good. These are good prices in the store. Mm -hmm. That is really nice. This is quite a, a shelving unit here. Fun vintage pieces. There's, Benton. A, there's a price on the corner up there, Peg. Can you take a look at that tag by the. Not for sale. <laughs> <laughs> Not for, good price. Not for sale. <laughs> Yeah, kind of stick it under your shirt, Peg. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I like this oil lamp, too. Lincoln Drape Lamp, Aladdin. Oh, that's the real thing. This spin around. Oh, there it is. There's a piece of wood right there. Yeah, and you light the candle. Then the heat spins it around. Isn't that cute? And it rings the bell. This is a German soldier windmill, ninety dollars. That's elaborate. My aunt had one like that, but not the soldier. It was just the uh, Oops, it went the wrong direction. Way, yeah. It's a one-way, one-way fan there. Oh, that's cute. That's neat how they have that. Yeah. Boy, those look really old. Twenty dollars for. Henri. Oh, there's that Henri uh, company again that did those great big carved pictures when we were at the thrift store uh -huh. at Goodwill, and we were we were showing those really big carved right. children for Mother's Day and Christmas mm -hmm. by Henri in Italian. That's the Italian mountain range, way north north east. Everybody's got roosters. Northeast Italy. Did Peggy ever tell you she has roosters? Oh. I think they should, probably did. Look at these chickens. That's not oh. chicken little by any means. Look at all the postcards. Vintage postcards in the Oh, wouldn't this be fun? The, the, the rack to display just a minute here. I'm not getting to the racket. I'm still looking at the chickens. Uh, I don't know. Five. I don't think the rack's for sale, though. What? Forty-five dollars. I saw five dollars. You thought it was but five dollars, didn't you? Isn't this a cool rack, though? Yeah. You want me to spray paint that gold? I'll bet. Yeah. Yeah. Or something. That is so fun. I'm not a postcard collector, though. Look at this cat up here. I like that. See that, Peg? Yeah, so looking at that, uh, a bank, I assume a plastic bank. It looks like a, um, it doesn't make me think it's a cat, cat, a domestic oh. cat. Look at the One moment, Peggy, I see a boat. I see a boat. Yeah, I, I figured <laughs> you'd spot that. First. This That's is really This is funny here. Pirate ship. Pirate? Oh, fun. Uh, they don't look like pirates, it looks like a military oh, no. ship because they all have the same oh, great. hat here and everything. Just, here we're calling them pirates. It's only seven dollars. I don't think they heard you though. It's only seven dollars. <laughs> oh jeez. You wanna... Anyway, it's cool. A lot of work went into making wow. that. This is what you bumped. Can you believe this for a shell snorn? What in the world? Yeah. Clock shelf. $65. But look at that design. Isn't that unusual? Yeah, it is. 
Doesn't yeah, it looks have like a, walnut. Is there a groove in it for uh, putting a plate? No. No. Just it all flat. It looks like walnut. Yeah, that think? looks... It's really nice and dark. But I've never seen a shelf with... It's an unusual lights. shape, yeah. Wow. Carved mirror here is a real oh, work of art. Oh, isn't that elaborate? Oh, man, look at that. There are bigger things back there, Jack. Oh, it's a shelf, too. And a mirror. Oh. Yeah, separate pieces. Yeah. But it's very, very, took a while to carve all that. And then here's the shelf that goes with it. Could have moved the duck. Yeah, move no, that duck. Moved the duck quack, 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 quack. You can see the bottom of the shelf. Yeah, look at the carving on this. 149 for both. Wow. That's cheap for both. <laughs> that for that would be... That is really wouldn't elaborate. Wouldn't that be nice in Selena's home, Norm? Oh, yeah. The vintage bombshell Selena loves heavily carved Not things. Just... But she usually likes crazy faces on them. Well, when I look in the mirror, you see a crazy oh, face. Oh, boy. So uh, that'll suffice, won't it? Yeah, I don't think she'd want you living there, though, though. old-fashioned restaurant jukebox here you could flip through the uh, selections and then you push the magic buttons down here and you put some money in up in the slot there and then you got two speakers here for your booth that's cute three hundred dollars this brass sailboat $20 too. Good price. We're back to this cat, but Peggy wanted me to point out the brass candle holders here. I'm way up high, I can't see the price, but maybe Peggy can see it from the other side. That's another piece of uh, artwork with all the carving that goes in these frames. You don't put that on a machine, that's for sure. That's all hand done. City probably goes with a train set. That's pretty uh, unique. If you got a real big Lionel train set, that would be fun to have. Here's a nice booth. The guy worked on putting in place to hold record albums. And then he's got some nice glass cabinets with a lot of beautiful jewelry items. <laughs> it's a really elaborate mirror. $82 for this mirror. Wow. That is... I don't know if I could turn the camera to see what that says or not. Not quite, though. Lots of rings and bracelets. Can you see what's on the tag on this mirror down there? With the flowers on yeah, the edge of it? Pretty. It's all glass, $82. Um, Can't read what the sign says, though. Antique. Uh, Venetian? Antique what? Murano. It's an antique Venetian Murano um, Tula no, table top mirror. I'm reading upside down. Yeah. Wow. So that's Murano. Oh, that's gorgeous. Yeah. 
Pretty elaborate, that's for sure. What you got here? Oh, look at that. That's a Bakelite in green. Is that the tag for the green one? No. Oh, look at all these. I don't know bracelets. which tag goes with what. Can't tell. Oh, Probably Bakelite. Look at that They're orange one up there with the carving on it. Car bracelet orange, $295. That's <gasps> See, that's my favorite, that bottom one. That uh, a clamp bracelet on the bottom there. Vintage, unmarked. Clamper is what I've heard. I'm 34 with color colored stones. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, they're gorgeous. Look um, at these brooches. Look at that purple one there in the corner. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of very nice silver up here, too. Mm -hmm. Look at that very fine filigree bracelet in the back there. Oh, I know. I see one I think is very cool in front of it. It looks like a buckle. Oh, yeah. Isn't that neat? I can't see the price, but that's pretty cool in silver and gold. Oh, man. Look at one down here. Yeah, isn't that the ivy pretty? one. That's another cream colored clamper clamp. She calls it bracelet with rhinestones. 19. Wow, that's cheap. 19 only for that? Uh -huh. wow. See the crazy shaped one way in back there that's sterling? Do you have to polish that a lot yeah, to... yeah, if you want it shiny. Oh, look at all the little bangles. Tiny little silver bangles. They're not tiny, I mean skinny. Right. But this one I like. Uh, 99. A cuff bracelet. Isn't that gorgeous? Kind of like what Ray Kelly used to make, this good friend of ours. Yeah. He used a lot of brass. And, brass, sterling, and, and uh, copper. Copper. Solder the uh, I different still have one. Ones together. Yes, you do. He made you a very nice one. I can't seem to get it polished. I haven't <laughs> seen them in a long time. I wonder how they're doing. Yeah. Here's Jerry's dog pin with redstone eyes. He's cute. And that bracelet next to it. A bracelet. Somebody made an old paddle wheeler here. Smokestacks. If I tried to do the telephoto, it gets so close, it's too big, you can't get it on to appreciate it. That's cute. Boy, there's a lot of antiques on this side. Yeah. I've never seen so many antique beaded purses in one place. I don't recall these being here oh. before, last time we were here. I try to move down here. This is quite a yeah, long stretch here. Yeah, it's a big collection. Oh, I'll leave a paddle wheel boat up above there. Did you see that? I did, but it's kind of hard to get a good photo of it because it's so tall. Yeah, it's That's weird. actually beads? Yeah. Glass, usually. Oh, how do you They're do that? Glass beads. This is metal. Look at this one here with all the color. That white one's metal. Wow. Oh. Metal mesh, but uh -huh. all the others are probably glass. Glass beads, yeah. <coughs> oh, there's, there's a whole bunch more in here. All right. Still working on this. Oh, boy. Pile. <laughs> Antique jewelry. Quite a display. <coughs> oh my goodness. There's some girl up there getting a bird's eye view of everybody that's in the store. <laughs> but yeah, these are all those beaded purses. Quite a stretch. Wow, there's a whole model sitting up there. I know. The corner. She, I winked, just, she winked at me too. I just noticed that. You Aww. noticed the wink? This is cute. Lots of jewelry here. Oh, beautiful antique. Wow, Look cabinet. at that. Very unusual antique necklaces that you'll see. Sterling, yeah. sterling necklaces over here. But look at even more beaded and metal. These are these several metal mesh ones in the middle there. But just amazing. Yeah. I don't recall this close. Here is a cool one. Look at 
this uh, oh, here's uh, Britain's LTD Hong Kong boat with army men and over here is Britain's Britain's LTD two-man submarine $89 for that I, that's really cool that's some peace pipe not a peace pipe but it's a pipe nice brass bell Fisher Price toys on the floor there behind you. Okay, I'll try not to step on them. <laughs> it's a little, little narrow. For $14, you can get your own pirate ship. Somebody did a lot of work yeah. making uh, embroidery on the sails. I've never seen embroidered sails on a, no. on a ship. Let's see, I could only be $14. Yeah, that's a lot of work. Usually, every time you see a boat, you gotta pay probably an arm and a leg to buy it. Yeah. You know, this is the Chipmunks, 1980s. 84. Little suitcase. How cute. Yeah, it's got a travel bag or something. Uh, right. And this is amazing booth also. I mean, cabinet. That's funny. See this necklace? Not necessarily sterling silver. I don't know what that metal is, but but it's quite unique. Boy, they got a lot of beaded purses. Yeah, purses. Look are... at this necklace here, lying down. What? Got a lot of unusual it jewelry is in this section here. Hundred Mexico sterling, pre vintage, pre nineteen forty eight. This this funny necklace, very cool. Okay. I don't know what this stone is, but it appears to be green, like a dark olive. No, oh, dark green, yeah. Dark olive green, but look at that crown it's looking. A crown, like a king's crown. Yeah, it says sterling silver. Eighty-five. I like this black one. I love buckle looking rings. I do have one that Norm, Norm bought me a beautiful one that's all Swarovski crystals. I love it. I'm not wearing it, but I do like my buckle ring. That's pretty cool. Yeah. There's so many in here. That's got a nice collection, doesn't it? Yes. I'll zoom out so you get a better idea. Look at this cabinet. Just full. Very nice. Jewelry everywhere. Oh. So. a northern pike sorry we're by the checkout so it's a little noisy oh that's a scary thing to look at Seifert boat Norm said this is a real deal made in Germany vintage $38 and when you buy these or you see these are oh, they're usually kind of pricey want a lot more money for them yeah like a hundred oh look at I'm gonna zoom in look at this lucite Sailfish. Oh, six, that's lucite. Isn't that cute? Dollars. That's cheap. Oh, that's cheap. That's a good price for that. Yes, it is. Very nice price for that. Crazy. You should get it. Here's a little Mickey Mouse earring holder. 70s, probably. Earring tree, they call it. Could have been done by Torino. Mm -hmm. Fun. Of. Here's a very nutty pair of something, salt and 
Salt and pepper. Now that's just downright nutty. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a very fun area that looks retro. Very nice retro planter there. Only 12 with a gold bottom. These are cute. 12 for one, I assume. That looks nice and clean. Ah, look at this ice bucket. Oh. Look at those placemats. Aren't they cute? $22 for the ice bucket. Yeah. Not my colors, but... Good price. Oh, yeah. I'll go back to the stretch, stretch bases. Nice for different tags in this booth. Nice lamp. San Diego tea towel. But here's some... Nice stretch faces. And you get a fur coat for $32. I have a big one similar to this red one. I like the, um, it's funny they call this Viking in back here. I immediately think of Bittersweet. The Bittersweet as being L.E. Smith. But they're saying Viking Ombre, $65. Yeah, they're not cheap, but I do like that. Very nice. Nice vintage coat for 32 yeah. pack. Nice green one. Ooh, that's pretty. It's got the uh, creamy bottom on it. I don't know what you call that when you mix up. Yeah, nice. yeah and this pretty. Yeah, it's faux fur. Is that faux fur in arm? I think that's faux fur. Okay. For 32. Yeah, cute, cute, cute. Okay, what else is over here? That's upside down. Yeah, look at that one. Mm hmm. 16. So colorful. And then that one there. Are they the same? Nope. That's smaller, but it is a different pattern. Yeah. No, not. I think it's actually the same pattern, it's just... Oh yeah, you're right. Small. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Now here's a very fun retro wood. What does it say? I can't read it. Can you, Norm? Wood. Mid-century wood. Something. Carving. Okay. Roadrunner. It's a roadrunner, but look at the long tail on it. Isn't that fun? That's very mid-century fun. Mm -hmm. I just don't decorate with wood. But I do admire it very much. There's a drip glaze. Souvenir. Canada. Middle Falls is probably around. Oh, look at the Scotty dog one. That's cute. At least I think they're Scotty dogs, I assume. That's very cute. A 
I can't believe this. I don't think I ever run across these. I would I would enjoy having that norm for five dollars. I don't think you could even find that at a Goodwill for five dollars. It's signed by Hildy and she had all of these crazy and anthropomorphic veggies, I believe. Maybe fruits too. I haven't looked at any for a long time. I just happened to learn about them this past year. But it's a nice glass canister for only $5. And see, they didn't identify it as Hildy, but that's what it is. Yeah, it's written right down Very there. Very popular collectible. Right there. Yeah. Yep. See? Copyright. Yep. You gonna get it? That's a good deal. Yeah. This is a gorgeous needlepoint for only $25. Oh, I can't imagine. That's really cheap. Think of the work that went into that. The shading on the side of the building. Norm, you'll yeah. have to hold it, but you gotta stay out of the glare. Okay, let me. Wow. That's all needlepoint. Look at the shading on this end of the building here. You get the deep the red colors. It's really nice. This is very pretty. It's considered majolica. Wow. That kind of glazing Gee. work. And uh, beautiful job, huh? 32. Hand painted in Italy. Kind of hard to read. And Cora, I think. That's that's very pretty. And this is a Frank Homa teapot. And the teapot's 38, and this is a Frank Homa teapot stand. Uh-huh. Oh, a nice stand for fly rods and fishing rods. A little kerosene can. Here's the big... Looks like it's real. Those horns are pretty big. I've never, I've never seen a metal stand for a glass, glasses and ice bucket. No. At least that's what they're using it for. That's different. Sorry, about that. that's okay. $20. Well, this is no ass grandpa. Only $20. Oops. That's, That's funny. funny. Yeah. Yeah. It's very cute. I am when I am. That's Popeye, the sailor man. At least he knows who he is. <laughs> <laughs>